In order to comply with the more stringent emissions regulations set by the government, the new 6.4-liter diesel V8 was the first engine to come equipped with twin turbochargers and a diesel particulate filter. And OX and particulate matter emissions were cut by 50% and 90%, respectively, in comparison to the 6.0 power stroke. The 6.4 liters power stroke has a cast iron cylinder block and bed plate, which replaces the conventional main bearing caps. Four bolts per main tightly fasten this bed plate to the engine block. The connecting rods used in the 6.4 liters are made of powdered metal, which is much more robust and powerful than the connecting rods used in the 6.0 liters. Cast iron cylinder heads with four valves per cylinder are located on top. The fuel injection system for the 6.4 liters power stroke engine was switched from the HEUI to the direct high-pressure common rail. The Siemens VDOK-16 high-pressure fuel pump, which is situated at the back of the lift valley, supplies the fuel. The engine also had piezoelectric injectors, a first for the segment. These injectors can carry out five operations during the power stroke of each cylinder and provide much more precise fueling than the HEUI injectors. The engine has a Borg Warner compound turbo setup, which is a small package of turbochargers. It combined a 52 mm variable geometry high pressure turbocharger with a 65 mm fixed geometry low pressure unit. Such advantages as decreased turbo lag and improved overall performance characteristics are provided by this twin sequential turbocharger system. This engine has two EGR coolers, an extra exhaust gas recirculation, and an EGR valve with a more powerful DC motor. Exhaust gases now make up almost 25% of intake air, reducing NOx emissions. A diesel particulate filter was installed in the engine exhaust system to lower particulate matter production. The DPF was made into a self-cleaning device by the manufacturer with a special regeneration process. To effectively burn out the particles trapped in the DPF during that active regeneration process, additional fuel is injected during the engine's exhaust stroke. Problems and reliability. Factory pistons are firstly prone to craking. The high stock boost pressure of 40 to 42 psi makes that more likely to occur. The 6.4 liters engine, on the other hand, has stronger connecting rods that can withstand more abuse. The issue with blown head gaskets is still present because of stretched head bolts operating under increased cylinder pressure. The 6.4 has four head bolts, just like the 6.0 liters, but the size of the bolts was increased from 14 millimeters to 16 millimeters, and the problem does seem to occur a little less frequently. Lack of oil lubrication for the rocker arms is the third problem. This causes the pressed in balls of the rocker arms to wear down more quickly, as well as more friction and heat in the valve train. The plastic radiator tanks on the 6.4 liters Ford Power Stroke engine's core tank ends are to blame for cracks that result in coolant leaks due to engine vibration and chintzy bonding. Nearly all of these power plants have this issue. In the end, the issue may encourage severe engine damage from overheating. Replacement of a leaky stock radiator with one of several high-quality aftermarket aluminum parts is the best, and only, solution. A core support brace should be added either before or after the stock piece fails as a preventative measure. It's safe to say that nobody likes using too much gas. In traffic or at low speeds, the 6.4 liters Ford Power Stroke diesel engine struggles in this area, primarily because the diesel particulate filter requires fuel. Fuel mileage declines as region events increase. We find it challenging to suggest solutions because even the best practices are largely prohibited. The safest way to fix the problem is to optimize the engine's intake airflow using CARB-approved cold air system, air-to-air -air intercoolers, and ECM calibration, as well as by installing an aftermarket lift pump. It will only be a slight improvement, but it's better than paying hefty fines. In addition, the oil cooler on the 6.4 liters is the same design and is susceptible to clogging. Failure of the oil cooler can also obstruct coolant flow to the EGR cooler, which can lead to the cooler bursting. The 6.4 liters power stroke engine's DPF regeneration process has the drawback of occasionally causing a small amount of fuel to mix with the engine oil. Owners frequently report draining an additional gallon of oil during the interval between oil changes. Fuel consumption is negatively impacted by regeneration as well. Due to their ultra-tight tolerances, compared to the HEUI injectors of the past, piezoelectric injectors are more sensitive to the quality of fuel. 6.4 liters injector failure can destroy pistons. The engine's design was still very similar to that of its troublesome 6.0 liters predecessor. However, Ford engineers were devoted to resolving or at the very least minimizing the earlier problems. As a result, the 6.4 engine has fair performance characteristics and is generally reliable. 